Hey guys, all right. So in this little series, you're going to see me hopefully trying to finish up some journals. These are going to be little short videos. I'm going to speed through pages. I don't know if I'm going to exactly get one done a day. I'm going to try for that. We'll see. I don't think that's actually going to be super manageable all the time, but I'm going to do pages pretty frequently. I've got a number of journals that I started either last year in 2016 or a couple of them in 2015. They really just need to be finished now. So we're going to start with this one and then we're going to continue. If you're watching this in a later video, I am going to link all of these videos in a playlist. So I will put the playlist link in the description below. So check it out. Um, so here we go. We're going to do some journal pages. We're going to do some quick speed throughs. We're going to try to finish up some old journals and fill them up so I can get them out of my space. Right? Are you with me? All right, let's go.
Okay guys, so I know I've been doing these pages and just doing speed throughs with text boxes, but this time I wanted to come on camera and tell you about a few things about this page. Uh, so I did this page and with mostly pastels and then sprayed it with matte finish spray, which changes the color, by the way, of the image a bit when you do that. A lot of pastel and chalk artists choose not to spray their pieces um, at all or very lightly uh, for that reason. I don't mind it so I, d I went ahead and sprayed it. Um, and then I went back over it with uh, some of these colored pencils which aren't going to move and go anywhere uh, unlike the chalk. One of the things that happened about this piece by accident that I love is this background. So when I painted this background, if you noticed, I used two colors of Americana paint and two colors of um, 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 what is this called? Adirondack acrylic paint daubers. Um, two, three colors. Three of the paints were brown. One was one of the acrylic dauber paints was black, and I mixed them all together on the page and then painted the center square. The accidental result of which is this has got like a chalkboard like finish. I did not know those paints combined that way would do that, but it did. It's a really interesting painted background to work on with your pencils or your pastels. I love the way it draws, FYI. And I could just keep playing with this image honestly all day. Um, and just adding more layers to it and the more layers you add to it the more um, interesting it's going to be. I <laughs> just, you know, like I said, I could just keep going. It's a fun flower to draw. It is one of the images, inspiration images over from my year 2017 and I will put a link to that Facebook group in the description below. You need to be a member of the group to get the link. So um, if you're not a member yet, go over there and join. And uh, that's it for today. I am going to use this um, ending instead of the normal one. I've been putting on these um, wrap it up videos. Give it a try. This was a lot of fun. I haven't broken out the pencils or, ch or chalks in a long time and I forgot how much I like them. And I just, you saw me, I just used my fingers and I didn't use anything, any special tools or anything. Um, so anyway, if you want to be a part of the Facebook group my other Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, or support my channel either by shopping in my Etsy shop or sending a tip to my tip jar, sending me happy mail, anything like that. All the links for all of that are in the description below. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Maybe draw a flower, do a doodle, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye guys.